Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the Divine Feminine July 2021 monthly reading. We're going to be looking at what energies that the Divine Feminine could be experiencing, what would be going on for her in the month of July. And um, I'm going to pull a major arcana and a minor arcana theme for the month. And then we're going to look at the other aspects of what she can expect in her energies. Do check out the Divine Masculine reading as well, as obviously we are both masculine and feminine energies. And when we are looking at soul growth and our own understanding of self, it is important to understand both sides. I know many of you watch these readings for a relationship of some kind, which is absolutely great. Um, but I always encourage you to watch for your inner masculine and feminine energies. You guys, I've been hammering that home for years. <laughs> and I know that you guys that have done this have written to me about how impactful that has been for you on your journey. Um, so also do stay tuned. I will be launching the July relationship kit here shortly to accompany this reading and the Divine Masculine monthly reading. If you're interested in that, that's a pack of three videos that I only sell as a, um, in triplicate here together. That is readings specific to help with relationships in the month of July, how to navigate the energies of July when it comes to relationships. So, um, before I pull a card, also, I do want to address something that you, I, I keep getting in the comments recently, and I hadn't gotten this comment for a long time, and it has to do with the volume of my videos. Guys, when I test my videos before I make them live, they are loud on my end, when I, even in YouTube. Um, I'm not sure I, what issue is happening. I, I believe that there might be some settings depending on what device you're using, whether you're watching on the, like on a browser, um, whether you're watching directly on a YouTube app or on a phone versus a computer. And my understanding is there is somewhere some volume setting that could be affecting you because I don't know how to change the volume here. Um, in terms of like when I test my videos, they're, they're, it's really loud. So I don't know what's going on with your devices specifically, but um, you know, I'm aware of it. I've been aware of it for years because I keep, I used to get a lot more comments about it, but, um, just in case that is you just understand that there's nothing I can do on my end to change this. And one time I did try to do a wired mic and then I got complaints that, because people were like, I don't want to see that thing. Like in, it would get in the way because of the way my camera is set up. So <clears throat> Anyway, I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that because I am aware and I've tried to figure out a solution, but it's hard to find a solution for a problem that I can't recreate, if that makes sense. So with that, I'm going to get started. Major Arcana is the lovers. You see how that just popped right out? Well, here we have it, Divine Feminine. Oh, and, and I also was getting strongly when I was connecting prior to getting on camera. I felt that this is a very important month for the Divine Feminine. I feel like I had this vision of many Divine Feminines being present for this particular reading. So we'll see how their energy comes forward. But I do feel like this is an especially important month for the Divine Feminine to really pay attention to herself and to her energy. Um, and especially when we have the lovers popping out here. This is choices. This is love is on our minds. This is also if you're watching this not for a relationship. The lovers can indicate something that is spiritually, emotionally rewarding and balanced and reciprocal. Something that's of a higher love, um, whether this can, this can sometimes relate to mission, right? Doing something that you love, doing something that you're meant to do as above, so below. So let's get a minor arcana theme here for the Divine Feminine for July 2021. And we have the four of, ch of chalices, the four of cups energy. It's interesting because I feel like there is um, 
there is a sense of where is he? The sense of discontent, the sense of that the, it's right close by. There's an opportunity for love really close by, but it's just a little bit out of reach. And it'll be interesting to see how this plays out through the rest of the reading with this Four of Cups. Because this can also be that the universe is offering us an opportunity that we might not be noticing when it comes to love. So um, I'm kind of eager to continue this and see what is coming in. Now let me get a tarot deck to get started here. Let's see what's going on for the Divine Feminine for July 2021. I'm going to pull 16 cards. clarifying with my guides the spread I'm going to do. Sometimes I have to figure it out real time what I'm based on what I'm feeling. All right, I got it. I know what they're going to be. Six of cups, nine of cups, page of wands, knight of cups. Wow. Okay. What we have here is the seven of pentacles, the five of cups, the two of pentacles, and the star. King of Wands, the Empress, the Six of Wands, and the Strength card. Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, the Lovers again, and the Four of Swords. All right. Okay. Here's what we have going on in a nutshell for July for the Divine Feminine. We have movement here. We have um, information. We have news coming. We have something that we've been waiting on. And again, we're getting the concept of divine timing, feeling like something's right there, but maybe it hasn't manifested yet. And I feel as though some of the divine feminines um, may be in a place where you may be feeling as though there's this sense, like trying to make a decision of what you want to do. I feel like many are in this place of possibly making a choice of which path they need to go. I feel like, and, and again, in the collective, we are at this like, this point where choices have to be made and when you make a choice it can go either like you can either go in 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 one direction or another right there's no more of this kind of blended energy as a collective we are being called to make choices am i happy with where things are am i wanting to move forward am i wanting to move on and some of you are going to be choosing um through this to stay, for example, in a relationship, some of you and, and others of you are going to be choosing to move on, but we are at a choice point. And so understand that if there are some messages for some of you, it's going to mean, no, I'm happy with this. I'm going to stay on my path. And others of you are going to choose to move off, to move in a different direction. And so that doesn't mean that the reading is confusing. That means that at a, at, a, at a collective level, we are at a choice point, and some of you are going to choose different paths. So in a, in a collective reading where there is a choice point to stay or to leave, to persevere or to give up, like that's a choice point. And the common theme is there is a choice point. It will look different for all of you. And that's where you, your discernment and your heart and your own inner guidance is going to help you navigate through this time. But I do see the choice here for the Divine Feminine. It's like she's ready. She's ready to move on. She's ready to start a new life. And I feel like many Divine Feminines are at this point where it's like, I'm ready to be in sacred union with 
my Divine Masculine if you're watching this for a reading. I'm ready for embarking on this new journey. I'm ready for success. Because what we have going on here spiritually is we have the Six of Cups, Nine of Cups, Page of Wands, Knight of Cups. Throughout the month, there's this feeling of nostalgia, um, connecting, feeling really hopeful. And then it feels like there's some information, some some new beginnings that are exciting here when it comes to love. And for some of you, it will be with um, your person that you are watching this reading for. And for others of you, it may be a totally new person. And I think that's the choice point that the Divine Feminine has here because I, whatever it is, it is something that is destined here. There is some sort of new beginning and it may come in a different form than you expect because what we have here towards the end of this month, it's like we have the Star, the Knight of Cups, the Strength card, and the Four of Swords. Because what we have going on physically is there is this energy of divine timing having some sadness around the past, and I'm getting the sense of, is there something here worth, is there something still in the present? Like, I think that there's many, we're being moved in a direction of feeling more hopeful. And the universe is supporting the divine feminine in this way because what's on our mind here is forward movement victory action strength courage you know the earth mother the empress here she's she's uh, just about eight and a half months pregnant in this in this card you know she's ready to pop she's ready to start her new life she's ready to birth her new life and there is a sense of victory here there is a sense of courage and I feel like the Divine Feminine is getting into this energy of it being in union with her masculine energy and being brave and taking action in her life. Where she's like, you know what, it's time. It's time for this new beginning. It's time for um, forward movement here. Because where she is emotionally here, we have the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Lovers, and the Four of Swords. And so I do feel like there is, ha there's, there's a lot of happiness here. But we do have a choice here. There could be an option between a couple of people. Potentially a couple different, two different paths. Because what we have here in this third week is there's some movement forward and something exciting after this Ace of Wands energy that's like, drawing her and she may have a choice point because there may be somebody coming in that she may not have expected it may be the divine masculine it may be a different divine masculine and guys if you haven't seen my beyond twin flame um series definitely check it out because i talk a lot about that uh, this idea in that series. It's here on YouTube. It's um, a playlist. If you just go to my playlists, it's the Beyond Twin Flames. It's a series of three videos. Because there's some there's there's an there's an opportunity here for the Divine Feminine that I think is, again, she's feeling emotionally fulfilled. For many of you, this can be a month of reunion with the masculine. There could be some information. There could be some, some news coming in. I'm going to get another layer here because I'm interested to see. What is this Two of Pentacles happening here in the physical world here in this third week? What's the Two of Pentacles? The Wheel of the Year, the Wheel of Fortune. Again, things that are destined, that are coming in. There's a sense of hope, a renewed hope for the Divine Feminine in the month of July. And isn't that... 
I mean, to me, that is like, there's an opportunity that is meant to align us with our destiny. Why is the Five of Cups here physically? The Knight of Wands. And the Seven of Pentacles gets the Fool. Okay. It's like there's the feminine has been feeling that this new journey has been on the brink of beginning for a long time. And I feel like the Divine Feminine is ready to take some sort of action in her life. But I feel like the universe sort of steps in and there's some renewed hope here. Um, not hope, but like wish fulfillment. Because spiritually, let's see why the Nine of Cups is here. The Ace of Swords. Again, information, communication. Six of Cups gets the moon. It's like she's intuitively knowing that something's going to be... Some of, Intuitively knowing that something's coming, but she's struggling with feeling like if this is an illusion. But the information coming in here with this Page of Wands. Knight of Cups, Three of Wands. All right. There is, an, there is something that is coming in for the Divine Feminine where I think she's been, she's been questioning, is this all an illusion? And this is to do with, they're bringing me to the fact that Neptune has just stationed retrograde because Neptune is very, is about illusions. But when Neptune is retrograde, we get clarity. We can see through illusions and we can see what the truth is. And this energy is coming through very strongly here for the Divine Feminine because she is coming in with some clarity and there's, there is potentially a new opportunity here for her with whatever person it is that they're, you know, if she's thinking of love, right? Um, but there is an offer being made, something that she's been waiting for here. And again, it feels like whatever form it comes in, it's a really good thing. Let's take a look at why she has the um, strength card here. Why she has the strength card on her mind. Queen of Wands. Yeah, she's getting caught. She's got a new sense of confidence by the end of this month. She's like, oh, I attracted this. I brought this in. Like, I'm kind of a badass. Why is the Four of Swords here emotionally? The Hermit. Okay, so there is a... There is... Um, it's interesting. It's almost like... It's almost like, be, not be careful what you wish for, but there is emotionally a bit of this retreat energy. Both of these cards are about pulling your energy inward, um, pulling your energy back, reflecting. And I do feel like this, in this Four of Swords, this guy's like thinking under a tree. And here's the hermit right on top of him. So it's almost like she's discovering some new things about herself emotionally and what's going to make her happy. So again, and I hate, you know, I don't want to discourage anybody ever from what they know in their heart. Never let anybody ever, 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 ever do that, no matter who it is, right? But there are some people that have potentially have their heart set on, you know, their future person being a certain person. When in fact, there could be somebody even better. And so it's like, I think for some of the feminines are discovering more about themselves emotionally. When the, when this offer comes in, this opportunity to be happy comes in. Whether it's, man, I was right all along, or wow, I didn't even know, see this coming, and this is even better than I thought. So either way, it's a good thing. But we do have choices, and we have, op we have two choices. And it's like, 
look at this card. It's like she's here and she's staring up at this star, wanting it to be this, but there's a cup right here, right next to her that she may not, she's not, it's like right near her and she's not, she's focused over there. So she's looking up to the heavens for a sign. And it is right there if she just looks around her. So I feel like there's some opportunity being present, presented to the Divine Feminine that if she opens her awareness, she'll see what's right there. And I do feel like July, for both masculine and feminine energy, to me there is an energy coming forward of the Divine really stepping in to help nudge things forward. So let's see what energy, and in the extended, we're going to go into, um, for those of you interested, more in depth, what lessons she's learning this month, what shadow energies to pay attention to, how the divine feminine is going to be shining this month. But let's get some, let's see what energy is supporting her this month. What energies are supporting the divine feminine this month? Oh, there is the emperor. The Emperor, the Nine of Pentacles, coming in with the Nine of Swords. Wow. Again, I just feel like... Let me get a, um, a third one here, because those came out together. Supporting her is the Knight of Swords. I think that there is the there is a theme for the divine feminine for July, which is don't self sabotage. But I do see some. There's obviously some anxiety here. A little bit of stress, sleepless nights. About the masculine here, taking 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 charge and going forward. So I think that there is a sense of clarity that comes in this month that will that will make the direction the feminine is supposed to go very clear. It's like she might get into taking charge of her future, her life again connected the feminine energy doesn't take action. The masculine energy is the movement. The feminine energy is receptive. So if you're listening to feminine and masculine and thinking of it as a person like this person's the masculine, this person's the feminine. It's like who, if you embody the divine feminine energy, you might need to get into your masculine energy and take some action this month. Okay, so I'm just clarifying that for those of you if that's a little confusing. Because when we're talking about the energies versus the person, and sometimes in the readings, just take it as it fits. But she's being supported to move in a direction with clarity. Because spiritually, she has the clarity coming in. And the two nines indicate she's at the end of a cycle. Just hang in there a little longer if this is something that you have felt in your core. But be, remember that Neptune retrograde is supporting you in getting the clarity on whether something is an illusion or not. What energy is challenging the Divine Feminine in July? The King of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. This decision, this choice may be hard for some of you. There could be this sense of like, wow, I, this is a change in my life. I'm making some changes in my physical world. Feeling alone, possibly feeling rejected. I feel like for some of you, honestly, many relationships are closing out, which is why this is coming in as well, is some of you, it's like, wow, I didn't think that this, this would be this way. This choice may be very difficult, but it's necessary. We have to make the brave choices to follow our hearts. For some of you, it may be to open your heart. To be able to open your heart to somebody new, stressing, like maybe being afraid of feeling worthy, 
that may be a bit of a challenge because when we have the emperor and this king of cups here, the emperor can be somewhat cold, right? But the king of cups, he has a lot of love and he has a lot of emotion and he feels things very deeply, but he doesn't always say it, doesn't always communicate it. But I feel like, why is the five of pentacles here for a challenged energy? The queen of swords. Yeah, some of you are having to cut like make some decisions and cut ties with things. Um, and why is the two of swords here? The Lord of the Shadows, the death card. So he's making a decision about whether, again, this is the choice point. The death is a death and a rebirth. Some of you are closing something out that needs to be closed. Others of you are closing a past cycle in order to be reborn again in a new in a new way. So this is where you're going to have to interpret the reading as it's fitting for you in your life. But the energies are the energies. And what we have here that's difficult is some things do need to come to an end. They've run their course. The, the, the life cycle is complete. The lessons are complete. You know, these guys, it's like their swords aren't up. They've put their swords down and they're just talking. They're no longer battling each other. So this, for me, feels like what could be difficult is, okay, we're going to break up. Let's just do this in a, in a kind way. But again, it's like there is emotion. There, it's lining us up with something really, really beautiful. In fact, I'm going to get card on the star card here. The Two of Wands. See, the new direction is going to be calling the Divine Feminine. There's this choice and there's a direction. Things are going towards a Knight of Cups, towards a new love, towards someone offering love. Two of Wands and the Chariot. <laughs> so, there is success. There is victory here. There is movement here. So, my lovelies, this is a month of positive change. Definitely check out the Divine Masculine reading. But let's get the guidance for those of you not heading over to the extended. What is the best guidance for the Divine Feminine? A fiery climax approaches the full moon in Aries energy. Yeah, this is, it's been building and building and building and building. Something is changing. Something is busting through. There is this energy of action, new beginnings, because Aries is the first sign in the zodiac. Therefore, there is a new beginning coming that the universe has been lining up, and it is for your highest and best. All right, lovely friends, I hope you have a beautiful month. Do check out the, uh, stay tuned for the July uh, relationship kit being released and I will see some of you over in the extended and until next time. Bye.